from the high priest to go around and arrest Christians all over Israel. On a journey to Damascus to arrest more Christians, a light flashed from heaven and Saul fell to the ground. Then a voice from heaven spoke. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, who you are persecuting. Now get up and go to, into the city. And you will be told what you must do. When Saul got up, he was blind, so his friends had to lead him into the city. In the city, God told a disciple named Ananias to go pray for Saul. And when he did, he was able to see again. Saul then went around and started teaching people the good news of Jesus. Saul traveled to Jerusalem to join the disciples, but they heard about the evil that he had done and were afraid of him. Barnabas then brought Saul with him to the apostles. Do not fear this man. Jesus appeared and spoke to him, and after that he preached without fear about the good news of Jesus. Then we welcome you here, Saul. A woman of God named Tabitha was always doing good and helping the poor. She later became very sick and died. Peter heard of this and came to her. When he found her, he prayed and said, Tabitha, get up! Wow! What just happened? I was just in heaven and now I'm back in my room. Oh my goodness, this was a miracle. Many people heard of what happened and became believers in Jesus. A powerful Roman soldier named Cornelius was a godly man. He gave a lot to help the poor. And he prayed to God daily, but he didn't know a lot about God. One day, he had a vision that told him to go find a man named Peter. Cornelius sent men to go find Peter and bring him to his house. When Peter got there, Cornelius told him of his vision. As you know, it is against our law for a Jew to visit with a Gentile, but God has shown me that he doesn't have favorites and accepts people from every nation. My, mes my message for you is Jesus is the savior of the world, and if we repent, we will be saved from our sins. When Peter spoke these words, the Holy Spirit came on everyone who heard the message, and 